It's the Nuka Cola Lounge presented by the Triple S League. I'm literally probably gonna shit my pants. <laughs> Welcome to this episode of the Nuka Cola Lounge. I am Cybsidian. I'm Mr. Chimp. Today we are talking about Mosas. Did you say MOBA? No, I said Mosas. Like mimosas. Yeah, no, not mimosas, which are delicious little snacks. Mosas, as in uh, the new game type, the new game genre. For those of you that don't know, that stands for Massive Online Survival Arena. We're probably going to be seeing this as a, as a pretty big genre in the next few years. Instead of the MOBA, where you have, you know, a select group of characters with different skills and whatever and you kind of go out and you like farm bots and lanes and, and stuff like that instead of that you know kind of like system it's basically a free-for-all arena uh with a survival aspect to it and uh usually a good amount of crafting aspects to it as well so it's kind of like the hunger games where uh, there's a little bit more of an em emphasis on on crafting, so kind of like if the Hunger Games movie had, had collided with like Minecraft, and instead of getting their weapons, you know, from packages or or drops or whatever, the the mo the majority of them you had to craft yourself. In the hu true Hunger Games style, it's last man or woman standing, or in some games you have options to play as a team, uh, which is pretty fun. It's an interesting concept where basically you end up spectating the game a lot because if you die early on, then, then you're out because there's no respawns. There's one life and you basically have to survive while your arena, which is usually quite large, uh, gradually shrinks to a very small area where there's the final like battle royale, battle royale kind of thing, very much like what's happened in Hunger Games where, you know, they kind of forced people to the center kind of thing. And that that aspect of the game is very interesting and can offer several kind of unique challenges. So the zone of play is usually quite large, but usually starts to shrink right away. Um, the Calling and Ark, those are the two Moses. Is there any other ones out right now? Well, you can play, uh, you can play survival games on Minecraft servers. Uh, they follow the Hunger Games style pretty well you we have the culling and arc survival of the fittest yeah, i believe that's it so there's a good chance that if the culling or if this uh, arc for variant does really really well that we'll see a sudden explosion of this this is april 2016 i'm calling that this will become a major game genre by 2018 what do you think yeah if not sooner i mean Arc launched themselves with their self-founded esports division for Mosas, and that's when the word first was used, really. And I think now it's going to just start picking up a ton of traction. You're going to see it on the esports scene. You're going to see it in more pe more of your friends' game libraries. I mean, people are going to be playing a lot of it because it's fun. The games are quick, right? And yeah. you log in, you got one life. You you do your best. Usually, you lose a lot for the first little bit, and then you're like, oh, okay. Then you got two strategies. Do you stay in the middle where the shit hits the fan? Or do you uh, go explore the outskirts and try to hide until like the last few minutes, you know, and let the, uh, what's that law? Whose law is that? Darwin. Darwin Award. Oh, yes. Let everybody get their Darwin Awards, <laughs> well, the, you know. Yeah. They think they're really clever and they're going to kill people while it's early. Well, you're going to come out swinging with, you know, a bow or a gun or a dinosaur or an ape depending on the game you're playing, and uh, just truck, truck everybody in the Battle Royale. In my very first MOSA game that I ever played, um, I was I was teamed up with you, and, and we did really good. We were the second last team to, to die, so like, we were in third place. So there was the winners, the, the team that ended up killing us, and then there was us, if I, if I remember that correctly. And then it was the last two teams that were fighting uh we had weakened one of them and they ended up losing so conflict often is very costly is very seldom is it really rewarding in a lot of these games so you're trying to stay alive but in my second mosa experience um i i 
I got the Darwin Award because I went up to a big vat of gas and I was like, hey, what's this? Press the button. A bunch of gas came out and proceeded to kill me. It was... It was lots of fun. You gotta, uh, how's it go? You gotta know when to hold them. Know when to yeah. fold them. Because if you go into a fight and you just, if, if you don't know, like, if you've ever played Civ Five, when you go into, a, say, a barbarian camp, it says your probability of victory, right? Like slim, yeah. crushing, or whatever. Well, you have to know that going in because there's been several times where we've been playing and we think, okay, we've got these guys. You go in. You hit them with your spear a few times, and they whip out a gun. And you're like, well, that that's game over. I mean, <laughs> you're done at that point. They wait for you to get close. You just don't show all your cards at once. Um, so, yeah, kind of like, like Daisy, where, you know, it's kind of a survival world. Like Daisy but Duke? no respawns, and a very small arena in contrast to the area. Now, some of these games are including, like, NPCs and monsters and stuff like that. Other ones are just, you know, it's just you against the wild. And, you know, so that's kind of interesting. We'll definitely see some variants based on that, I think. So let's break down what is a good strategy for Moses. If you're brand new to it, you're going into it, what do you encourage people who are brand new to it? What do you do to win? To win out of the box. Soon as you dropped, so okay, so it's different though on the game. So you have the culling, everybody's dropped randomly throughout the map. Arc Survival of the Fittest, everybody's dropped in a ring around the center. And survival games for Minecraft, you're dropped in a ring. Culling gives you the best advantage for success. You're gonna drop somewhere, probably, you know, usually there's one or two players near you. Best thing to do is just start exploring, scavenging. Uh, you can go the crafting route, but you need funk. A lot of these games require some kind of currency to craft. Uh, so you have to have the funk to do it. So do you waste all your funk in making a spear, or do you save it until you find some stuff? There's just too many ways you can go. I would suggest steer clear of people for at least the first 5 to 10 minutes. Get what you can get. And uh, try to pick off the weak. You know, look for a, look for a sickly calf that's limping along finish them off maybe they just came out of a fight they shouldn't have been in they came out on top they hook it right and boom there you are you serial crush them just like boondock saints you know we've gotten guns from from some of these kills where a dude just just went up against a crazy fight he killed uh, you know one or two guys he picks up a gun, he picks up a sledgehammer, he picks up a really cool set of armor, and he's all like, well, this is awesome. He, he's like, I might as well go somewhere and put all this stuff on. Walks around the corner right into me with my dagger, and that, that's, that's my, my stupid little wooden knife <laughs> made out of sticks. Kill him, and like, oh, hey, look at all this wonderful stuff that he just brought me. So steering clear from people is is very recommended early on because you you're not in in most cases you're not going to win all that much you're not going to get a huge amount of stuff from somebody in the first like 2 minutes of play that that first like cornucopia bloodbath there's nothing to gain from that nothing whereas really strong players who are very very skilled you know might come out on top but at the same time they might get a hatchet in their back that they weren't expecting and there's nothing that really can can alter that or change that probably the first rule to stick with is just keep your eyes peeled know your surroundings and listen a lot of these games you can hear people coming you can hear people fighting you can hear people whacking away at trees for materials so just be very observant that's that's the first step to success and i'd say the second one is just to choose your battles yeah most people in these games are super aggressive they are gonna fight everybody they see and you know what you do if you want to win you let them because they're going to get weakened and if you can watch a fight happen the other person that wins is probably going to run away and try to make some band-aids or something and heal themselves up that's your that's your moment that's when you strike you know you just come out of the sky like and just <laughs> and finish them off they think they got you know they come out with all their their loot from their victory they pillage the dead body they think they're they're hot stuff and and you just smoke them and then you run and hide for a little bit bandage yourself up Check through your stuff. If you're playing culling, recycle the stuff you don't need. You have a limited amount of inventory space. So inventory management is very important. Same with Ark, because Ark was, uh, 
Ark's an interesting one where, where it's not so much inventory space, it's weight. So you can't weigh yourself down or, or you'll be at a severe disadvantage. You'll literally stand still if you're full. So in those moments, you want to, to be very wary and be very attentive. I had uh, one fight where um, I got into a fight with somebody. I won, and then a, a, an area map event happened where they summoned like blood bugs that swarmed and and you know would kill people and it's not that big of an issue if you're at full health and you happen to be out of combat and you can like you know dive underwater or whatever it's it's easy to avoid but if you're just finishing up a fight and you've got like you know 15 hit points left and it's early on in the game well you're, you're pretty much toast so world events are are very cool this is really gonna be this is very entertaining to watch. I love watching these matches because you're always like, oh, you know, what, what's this guy going to do? Is he going to make the right decision or the really bad decision? Is he going to walk around that corner into that landmine? Or is he going to like back around the corner and, and scope it a little bit first before he does that? So very entertaining to watch. Some people might not necessarily play it, but they might have a, a lot of fun to actually watch it. Nerve wracking to play. So that's... That's the cool thing about this. This brings esports to a whole new, brings it to a whole new genre where, you know, you're watching Hunger Games, and I would love to see this played at like high schools as like tournaments. It would be hilarious to to watch you know, like these these kids who have never touched these kinds of games to be suddenly thrown into it, and to see who comes out on top. Just like you get in the Hunger Games movies, where you're taking people who. They're just living their lives. They they know about it. They've never like really had to to do it, and then suddenly they're picked, and then they have to go in, and it's one shot, one go. And I think it'd be hilarious to watch this, you know, as as tournaments in in these kinds of scenarios, or or anybody basically like take a take an office building and, and you know, all those workers and just throw them all together. That thing would be, I think that would be hilarious. The survival aspect of it is basically you want to be the last person standing. Uh, if you think of a typical survival game, you got your hunger, your sanity, depending on what you're playing, thirst, all that. You got to keep up exhaustion. That stuff's not so prevalent. You have a health bar. You have a stamina bar. Uh, you keep your health up. When it reaches zero, you're dead. The culling, there's the combat system on there. Still seems a little rough. You can heavy attack, light attack, push, block. And that, and that gets crazy. But the best thing, like you're saying with the esports on this, every game is unique. You never know what somebody's going to find or if they're going to choose to make something or or what. There's That's why they're going to be so great. They're going to be a big hit because it's going to be, you can tune in, watch a match, 20 minutes, and it's different every single time. It's exciting every time. Yeah, so that's your that's the basic introduction to Moses. Stay tuned to the channel for reviews for each of the ones we mentioned today. The Culling, Ark Survival of the Fittest, and Minecraft Survival Games. And more to come. We don't know what's going to be made of this, but we hope a lot is made. I, I hope so too. This is definitely something that I'm really looking forward to. And uh, man, can you imagine watching people play this with like augmented reality or like... Uh, oh, people would die. I think it would it would be hilarious, but people people might die. You know, just, yeah, just you, people just virtual reality. I just I see people like so if some guy comes running at me with a spear, I'm literally probably gonna shit my pants. <laughs> I, I remember well, when anyway. 3D first came out. I played ba Black Ops One in on a 3D TV, and I was literally trying to dodge bullets on my couch. Like, that's how real that was, you know. And it, it added so much to the game. I, I hope, I hope they make a VR game like this. It'll be hilarious. It'll be fun. It'll be, it'll be fun to watch the news as it reacts to people doing stupid things in public. It's great. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the show. Please like and subscribe. We really appreciate it. And tune in to watch us on both YouTube live stream and Twitch live stream. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, those things help us out a lot. Also, join us over at Sugarbombed for community, discussions, and gaming news.